Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Ben. I'm board certified hair restoration specialist dedicated to only hair transplant. And I receive a lot of questions from patients all around the world. And I will be answering a lot of those questions through these frequent Q&A sessions. Question, is it normal to experience shedding after hair restoration? Yes. Um, the shedding associated with post-op transplant is known as shock loss. It is very common to have shock loss and most people get it. Uh, the question is that how to minimize shock loss. First, from the patient's point of view, one of the things you could do to minimize it is by taking a tablet called Propecia and that will minimize shock loss. But there's also things that the surgeon can do and in my experience, this is what you need to make sure that a surgeon does or doesn't do to minimize shock loss. In my experience, I feel being focused at doing only one hair transplant a day allows the surgeon more time to create sites. In my case, it can be one to two hours. By taking your time to create slits, which are sites where the grafts go into, you minimize interaction with other grafts in the area. And this minimizes shock loss. When somebody's creating slits, if they use a needle or other instrument, if that touches other grafts, that can cause shock loss. So the slower you go, the more you can focus, the more you can minimize shock loss. The other things are, if you have gray hair, ask your hair transplant doctor to color the hair for you. This can allow the physician to see the spaces between the grafts, again, minimizing shock loss. Also, the technicians who are placing the grafts also have a big role. They use a sharp forceps to insert the grafts in. But if it's really sharp and you're poking around the slits, then they could be poking on natural hair, which may induce shock loss. So, overall, there are a few ways to minimize shock loss. First, take all Propecia. Second, ask your doctor to color your hair for you, right? Have him take his or her time creating the slits to avoid touching other grafts, and making sure that the technicians are placing not to poke around the other grafts. How will the grafts look at different times and months after the procedure? Within the first month, all the grafts would fall out. Within the first four to six months, you should not have any results at all. Why about five to six months? The graft should be sprouting. Now remember, each graft has its own hair cycle, so you're going to grow at different uh, stages. But by about four to six months, the first hair cycle uh, has been completed, so they will start to sprout. By about eight to ten months, we should have some adequate growth. For about one year, we should have full growth. However, by about 15 to 18 months, as the, the graphs cycle more, the graphs become thicker. So, in our practice, I tell the patients that no results by six months, you can have a full growth by 12 months, full thickness by 15 to 18 months. So if you're at the four to six month stage and you have not seen any growth yet, don't worry, it will come. It is uh, not as quick. So you have to give it time. And sometimes it comes in so naturally that you won't even notice. So check with, in with your doctor and it's good to go for a follow-up to see the before and after pictures because you may be surprised that a lot of it has grown in and you have just not noticed because it's so gradual. What do I do if I'm unhappy with the result after so many months after hair restoration? It's important to note that it takes a whole year for the hair to regrow. Hairs have to go through various cycles and all the hairs are at different stages of that cycle. So, if you had four months, six months, or seven months, and you still don't see any results at all, just be patient, because the results will come. If uh, uh, you are at uh, 10 months, you should be starting seeing some results by now. But if you think you're unhappy with the results, 
just wait it out for a full entire year and then approach your own doctor because the chances are they actually do have results but the results come in so gradually that you don't notice them so wait for an entire year go and see your doctor you look at your before pictures and take after pictures and compare them most of the time 99% of the time you're gonna see that you actually have results now if you do not get the results that you want right it could be a volume issue that you may need some more additional graphs because you, you could only put so much at in one centimeter right or there could be other issues if there are other issues then you could consult with other doctors when can I wear a hat after hair transplant so typically the first 24 hours after hair transplant you have a bandage around your head once you remove the bandage you could wear a hat but this is what you need to be careful of number one it needs to be a clean hat so you need to wash it beforehand uh, number two just make sure that a hat is not one of those one size fit all hats but it has uh, those straps in on the back so you could adjust it number three make sure it's not too tight you don't want to constrict the blood flow because your new grafts really depend on the blood flow other than that just wear whatever you had you like when can I use gels, oils, or sprays after hair transplant? This is my philosophy after hair restoration. I like to minimize contact with any chemicals as much as possible. Ideally for the first three weeks. So for the first three weeks, just really minimize the amount of sprays, gels, oils that um, have perfume in them, at really at all costs. Um, if you do want to style your hair, I would just use um, a hand moisturizer. A hand moisturizer is kind of free of a significant amount of chemicals and the one that our dermatologists approve, to use a small amount and it would apply to your hair and basically you know style your hair if you want to. But I would really stay away from any kind of gels for sure. Um, paste after three to four weeks is okay, sprays after three to four weeks is okay as well. Blow drying ideally after one month.